Hello and welcome back to Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Last time we took down the Narcacuga and now this time around we are going to take on a, a staple of this game and that is the Azur Rathalos. Um, what I consider one of the three flagship monsters of this particular game uh, with the main flagship monster being the Brachydeos and the other flagships being the Azur Rathalos and the Ivory Legacris. Now technically the Brachydeos is the actual, in quotes, flagship monster, but uh, you can't really feature the Azura Rathalos and the uh, Ivory Lachiacris so prominently and not really consider them a subspecies of some kind, or um, a flagship of some kind. So uh, what is an Azura Rathalos? Well, it's uh, literally a blue la Rathalos. I mean, you know, Azure. I believe that's blue in Spanish. Don't quote me on that because I don't speak Spanish. In fact, my, my armor is uh, Azure Rathalos armor, so it should have given you a clue at this point. Now, I do have a few notes with the uh, Azure Rathalos, because he is a subspecies of the ever-so-lovely Rathalos that we all know and hate, and just love to cut up into itty-bitty pieces. Um, but before I get into those notes... Um, the major difference with uh, the Azure Rathalos compared to its red cousin is, well, aside from the um, the notes, which are more subtle differences, not really. There's not really a whole lot of differences between them. This guy kind of plays into why I don't like subspecies in a Monster Hunter game, because if you look back at the Snow Bear Off video, it's basically the same monster, just, you know, a little more health maybe a trick or two different but uh, if you look at some other monsters within this game even so you got the jaggy then you have the baggy and you have the rocky i'd say that those are actual subspecies because they have a completely di different design play very much differently from each other and you know the and it just actually feels like a different monster it doesn't feel like the same monster just you know different uh different skin but what makes the Azura Rathalos so interesting is that he was the one of the original uh, subspecies. And he came in Monster Hunter G, which was the Japanese-only um, sequel to the original Monster Hunter on the PlayStation 2. And so I sort of have a, a bit of a soft spot with this guy, but it doesn't change the fact that it's basically a, just a recolored Rathalos. But at least the game does, or the uh, the Monster Hunter Wiki specifically, gives a uh, better detail of as to why it's a different color, which is a genetic mutation. And the interesting thing about genetic mutations is that they exist in, well, real life. Um, such as uh, Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes was actually a genetic mutation. And same, same with the, blue, uh, the Azura Rathalos. So, going into the notes themselves... Um, the, uh, these differences are very subtle, but they can mean, uh, a bit of a difference here. The Azura Rathalos' weakness is, according to this, on his wings instead of the head. So, uh, aim for his wings. Now, the Azura Rathalos' tail needs to at least blue sharpness to penetrate, except at the tail spikes. And... His, um, when he uses his talent attacks while in the air, or, or with any aerial attack, anything that involves him hitting you with his talons will result in poisoning, so definitely be on the lookout for that. And you were able to see earlier, along with the, uh, the talon strike that he was able to poison me with, was if he's in the air and he bites downward, that's going to cause a gush of flame to come out, so... If you're wanting to take this guy on when he's hovering, just uh, be mindful that uh, he can bite you and then catch you on fire. Which, you know, that's that's just not good. A um, couple of cute notes here. Uh, of course, like a normal Rathalos in this game, he will prey on herbivores such as the Aptonoth, which uh, he's going to go to right now. As well as the Slygoth if he's in the... I believe either the Misty Peaks or the Flooded Forest. Now, if he's in the Misty Peaks, or if you're playing the uh, Japanese-only Monster Hunter Portable 3rd, the much better named Mountain Stream, in Area 6, the Rathalos can be seen 
uh, drinking water, which is, I haven't seen that in this game, but I have seen the original Rathalos from Monster Hunter 1 drink water before, and that's, it's in Area 9, so I had to be very sneaky about it, because no one <laughs> that's played that game wants to fight a large monster in Area 9, it's just the worst thing possible. And, uh, well, that's, uh, that's basically it. And so right now, it's just this monster getting absolutely wrecked with the ever-so-broken Brachydeos Longsword, the beautiful slime-based weapon. And so he's probably just going to take a few more hits from the sword, and then he's going to be get down for the count. And there's uh, always a fun technique if the uh, Rathalos or Rathian, I'd say Rathian's a little bit more the type of um, the Wrath that you want to use the flash bomb technique on. But if they're in the air, just throw a flash bomb and they come crashing right back down. It's incredibly effective. And so the rarest item that you can get off an Azura Rathalos in this game at this rank, which is high rank, is the... Rathalos gem, which I believe from uh, a shiny drop is 1%, from cutting the tail it's anywhere between 2 to 3%, and from the rewards it's anywhere between 2 and 3% again. So it's very difficult to get that gem, especially if you want the entire armor set, and also if you break the head too. So combined, it's probably around maybe between 8 and 10% to get a uh, Rathalos gem, but even then that's not exactly accurate um, because of statistics and all that. But yeah, that was the Azura Rathalos. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys again next time. Take care.